the Niners stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, because we we, we were talking last Saturday. One one last thing on the Warriors. What's the biggest revelation to you? That the Warriors came back and won a championship or that young flannel-wearing Bonte Hill went from being (laughs) in the the locker room to on television? That's That's the last That's that's like the biggest move of all time right there. That that was stunned stunned us all, continues to be (laughs) jaw-dropping. Uh, commanding, commanding the studio, commanding the scene, Bonte Hill. You got uh, you, know, you got the Steph rise in the Tennessee, and then Bonte is like right below that, right below that. <laughs> got to wear suits now. Let's talk about just, the Niners. I'm glad you had to get that in. Not Chris Mullen's my guy, right? Yeah, what's happened to Chris Mullen? Yeah. Festus Zeely's career, they got to sit next to Bonte on the side. Good Look, lord, Mullen what goes happened? from playing with the Dream Team and being in the Hall of Fame to working with some guy named Bonte. All right, the Forty Niners. Does they he know your name? To, uh, you know, Chris uh, Mullen was facetiming us at the Eagles game, and I was the most happy I could ever be. Yeah, when he says my name, I perk up. This is one of my idols growing right, up. Yeah, Molly's, Molly, again, he's I, the best. Molly, Molly's one, yeah, he's one of my guys. So, yeah. yeah, absolutely. I, I love him. I, I, I actually, he brought you up yesterday. Yeah. I was like, you know, TK's come to the studio because yeah. Molly would tease about the morning roast. And he, yeah, had, he always yeah, teases Tim me. He's blowing me up right now. Yes. I guess I'm due for an appearance on a podcast. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's only supposed to come on like five times and we haven't been able to do it. Now we'll get, we'll get him on. We'll you got to get, get up to Round Hill or something and get him on the golf course. You get onto the uh, Niners because this Jimmy G thing is juicy. Well, the Jimmy G stuff, the Niners, you were at the press where Kyle had a hand you tweeted this man the Niners probably should have had shed a head up there because <laughs> he was obviously I, yeah. edgy I, I didn't think I didn't say that because I right. like it I mean it's interesting yeah. for yeah. us we talk about we it it's love authentic it <laughs> but I think sometimes I think maybe they should like either make sure he gets some rest the night before yeah. or something because he was really edgy he was sharp you got to be on your toes around him, but I think that's authentic, Kyle, too. When yes. he's you know tired, right. and when he's grinding, you're going to get this from him. And maybe that's what the quarterbacks get from him mm. a lot. Maybe that's what the team gets about. But they respect it. Right? It's not you know juicy, floaty PR. Oh, everybody's great stuff. And and I, you know, listen, you got to, as I say, you got to be on your toes. You got to ask him direct questions, and right. I'll give you direct answers. And after his blow off of Jimmy, in right. that, which I was surprised, I thought he could at least say, "Hey, right. this is a guy who gave us a lot." Right? Well, I was going to really ask you, yeah. were you, so like were that, you surprised that. by that? And I was surprised by that. that. And do so you that's think why that I had some, something to do with Jimmy not suiting up in the NFC Championship game. Yeah, I mean, I made some calls. I don't want to make any large assumptions because I didn't hear the exact specifics, but I'll just put it this in this context: they kept him on the roster. They could have easily put him on IR and had another player up. It doesn't mean that player would have been a star, right. but maybe Hassan Ridgeway, who is a defensive tackle run stopper, could have helped against the Eagles. I think some of this was flowing through the 49ers. Jimmy's a guy who constantly got hurt for them. Mm-hmm. They counted on him, got hurt. Counted on him, got hurt. Played great for them in 2019, all the way through, stayed healthy. Maybe didn't make some passes in the Super Bowl. We all know that. I think some things build up. I think a relationship goes through these things, and by, let's say, you know, the end of last regular, the regular season mm-hmm. into the playoffs, the Garoppolo Shanahan relationship it kind of expired, and and part of it was like, how, like, are you not going to be healthy for me again? Now I don't know this, right? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I don't think the words are expressed like this. Mm-hmm. But if I just interpolate, I'm not saying I know this, but if you just look at the details, because I was told what what I, I just checked with people, like what the hell was that Kyle response? Like even for Kyle, that was sharp. Right. And nobody was surprised that that happened. And they also pointed out, listen, Jimmy was not available to the media. Yeah, he left. So that, right? like that, wow. like that's something. Did too. that surprise you? I thought he would be available. Yeah, yeah, I thought he'd be at least for like quick something. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't have to be the goodbye, the heartfelt. He did the heartfelt goodbye yeah. last yeah. season, right? right? See you, but fellas. Something. But it was clear he didn't want any part of, the, of any conversation in the locker room after the season. That's traditionally where you do it. Certainly hasn't been available now. I think I was pointed. Both things, like the Kyle answer and the Jimmy getting out of there, are mm. related, and neither one of them is a surprise. This relationship had gone south. That's what I wrote. Yeah. That's what I heard. And if you just add it up, nobody was saying this, but they counted on Jimmy a lot, and he gave them a lot. Then he got hurt a lot. And he let him down, and they brought him back. This whole practice on the side field. Oh, we, we that were was, there. Yeah, I yeah, saw it was, you. It was bizarre. Yeah. It was so I weird. I talked to Jimmy about it, and he's realistic about it. He did not have other options. Yeah. So he came back to the Fortnite as the back. He did not like it, and then he was good for them. When yeah. he got, and then he got hurt again. I know. Like so, it's just this. Uh, Kyle and Jimmy were never buddies, right? Because it was going to be Kirk Cousins or it's going to be somebody else. Yeah. I think that was good for the team, though. They, the the right. other players liked that the quarterback wasn't a kiss ass Shanahan yeah. guy. Like, mm-hmm. He was a guy that Shanahan would get on as much as, or more than he yeah. would get on anyone else. That kind of helped the Jimmy leadership in the locker room. 
but you can only do that for so long. You can only have that relationship. Right. Like that's just not going to be great. It's not sustainable. When he's mm-hmm. never been the guy, and then Kyle got Brock Purdy, and I think the Purdy ascension. We'll see if he's healthy, but I think in Kyle's mind that, comp- and I said it, and I just speculated, but this is almost certainly true. It just that wiped out Garoppolo in his mind. This I got my guy. This is yeah. my guy for the future. We'll see with Trey Lance. I like him too, but and we noticed that you know Purdy and Lance were having exchanges, not so much Garoppolo. Right. One of them was an IR, the other one won. You know, it just was an interesting dynamic there. Remember, I told uh, you uh, during the Philly game, yeah. I was surprised to see Garoppolo walk out the walk out on the tunnel and be on the sideline. Yeah, yeah. he'd been he'd been on the sideline for a couple of games. Okay. It's hard to hard in that because kind of, you know they're yeah, yeah. and right. everything. Yeah, but it was definitely a Lance and Purdy kind of you know contribution, not so much Jimmy. I, Jimmy was I, was I don't know. I mean, he was in the meeting rooms. They say, but I just think this relationship six years had come to an end and maybe it should have come to an end after five yeah i'm with and you it just kind of jammed in the sixth right. year and then they counted on him You're like let's it's like i'm not gonna fall in love with this girl but again i'm not i'm not gonna do it she's broken up <laughs> yeah. with me four times this one last no, <laughs> it, 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 you know it, it was i i extrapolate from what i've heard since i've checked with people that that's what it came down to just this long relationship had gone through ups and downs had not won a super bowl together and this wasn't going to go any further, and, and and they based both cut it off abruptly at the end. I know he wants to get a Brock Trey question in there at some point, so I want to squeeze this one in right. on Jed York. I find it interesting. I'm going back ten years ago, mm-hmm. and you were all over this. You know, Harbaugh didn't win the big one. There was way more than that, but that's what it's filed under. You know, hey, he didn't win the big one. We were moving on. To me, there was so much more than just that. Kyle hasn't won the big one. We all in this room agree. Kyle's a great coach. Mm-hmm. Is he perfect? No. But he's really, really, really good. And he's they'd won be a lot foolish to be able to move off him. But at what point, like, like, what is the thing that could undo Kyle? And I'm not trying to say I'm running him out of town. I'm asking sincerely, is it continually losing like Andy Reid? Because now Andy's obviously in Kansas City. It, like, what is the thing that usurps the power of Kyle Shanahan in the San Francisco 49ers organization? There is a time when even near misses, when they pile up, aren't enough. The Andy Reid situation. Yeah. And, and it, was it wise for the Eagles to move on from Reid? Well, they you know rebuilt the roster a couple of times. And they won a Super Bowl. They might win another one. Mm-hmm. I think you can say it was wise. But Andy Reid's a hell of a coach, and you better have a good coach ready to go. 100%. You better have a structure ready to go. You better have an offensive system ready to go. Uh, but no, I think what ended Reid's time, even with the winning, was the quarterback started getting screwed up. Yeah. Right? And I think you know, Shane has already had screwy quarterbacks, <laughs> oh and he's God. won. That's the, that's the thing. Like he's won even with the screwy quarterbacks. Right. With Brock Purdy, I think the the feeling in the organization is now he's got his quarterback. He's got his guy. That's believe me. That is what they're feeling. We'll see what happens with the surgery. We don't know what the right. ball is going to look like coming out of his hand when he's back. They have a lot of faith in that, and they believe like Kirk Cousins was going to be. His, I keep saying it, but this is so true. Kyle even said so to me. Like they were going to. The, Kirk Cousins was going to be the guy. That's crazy. And then it's wild. And then it wasn't. It <laughs> was Jimmy. Crazy. But Jimmy was always kind of like the other guy. Yeah. He was a Brock, side piece. There is no <laughs> other guy with Brock Purdy. That's the guy. Wow. So does Trey Brock, Lance get moved? Then you think? No. I mean, he, he costs more if they trade him yeah. than he would right. keep. So you let him. You know, again, Brock Purdy's hurt. What did you yeah. think of so, Trey Lance yesterday on the Rich Eisen show? That, I didn't listen to it. Oh, uh, okay. I, I you know I heard what he said. Hey, he's. I think he he's a good guy. Yeah, he's a right. smart guy. He gets what's going. on. I thought on. he looked good in, in some of the training camp that I was at. Not yeah. every day, but he had moments. He he has talent. I think the the vast disappointment to Kyle, other than, I mean, I, we're. I mean, sometimes he called the wrong play. Like I was there. Sometimes uh-huh. it just didn't. And you figure that for for a rookie quarterback, it yeah. just never happens with Perry. Like mm-hmm. there, there was a Cousins RG three thing going on a little bit where Kyle's like this rookie's picking it up like super fast and Trey's struggling now we'll still go with Trey we, we know it's there but it's not happening where he's picking up the feel of what has to happen and Purdy picked it up like that I didn't even see it at the camp I didn't see Purdy right thank like you this. Tim because I was sitting oh, next to you well, no, uh, this even, revisionist I history yeah. that he lit it up in well, camp Kyle right. said it at the time. No, I think the people who are saying they saw it might be doing revision. Thank you, right. Tim. That's but all I was saying. Right. I'll just say Kyle Thank you. was always on this. Like yeah, that, okay. We can't say that Kyle was doing okay. it. Like Kyle was always on I think they were getting the Kyle vibe, gotcha. maybe, or trying to channel. That's fine. I, 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 various people who've seen a lot of training camps did not see it out of Brock. Right. I'm doubt. not the only I, one. I know. I, Thank you. But Thank you for putting that I also think Lance disappointed Kyle athletically a little bit. Like, he's not fast. 
Right. Like this like they thought he was going to get around a corner. Like mm-hmm. Kyle, what's what's Kyle's thing? Like you move the quarterback yeah, yeah. around. Mm-hmm. And you have the pass run option. Not that it's RPO. It's just like you move him out. You, you have two reads, yeah. and then they're not there. He gets around the corner, and you go. When did Trance ever get around the corner? He didn't. He, he, just no, does, he's he not can't that guy. beat NFL linebackers to to the edge, and that disappointed Shannon. So that's why he started running him inside, and this whole bro, oh, you shouldn't run him inside, and that's how he gets hurt. They didn't have better options. Like you, you got to run the plays you think you're going to gain yards on, and he wasn't getting outside. I don't right. think he's, and as I keep saying, I don't think broken ankle is going to make him faster. I, no, he's a pocket no quarterback. He's and not, that's not what they drafted him for. They, I know. That, they thought they were the, getting yeah. Josh Allen. Yeah, they thought <laughs> they thought they were going to get somebody who could make a lot of plays right. with his legs, and it was, I mean, that Arizona game, he could not get past those no, guys. Now, those are good, fast Simmons players. Simmons is a, right. as a, Simmons, a freak athlete. Oh, yeah, but you know what, guess what? NFL's got a lot of those I know, guys. you're right. Roquan Smith, week one in Chicago, yeah. was tagging. My girl, Anna, doesn't know anything about football. <laughs> and we're at the game of the set. She goes, babe, is the quarterback supposed to get hit like this? <laughs> and Roquan yeah. Smith was teeing yeah. off just, on him. And Purdy has a little movement to him, by mm-hmm. the way. Yeah. And I'm saying he's incredible, but he he, he got around a corner a couple of times. You know why? Because the defense thinks he's going to throw the ball. Right. Yeah. And they were not that worried about that with Lance. So we'll see. I think Lance is a tremendous guy. I think he's high character. I think he's really smart. I think he's not going to love being the backup, but he'll deal with it. He'll be mm-hmm. good with Brock. He might even, like, Brock might be hurt again, right? right. Guess what? You, Trey Lance is going to have a shot. Then at the end of next season – is when you start thinking about I agree with moving you. Lance. But you do not move Lance this season. You go with the two. I'm I think you, you need a third. I really I believe they right. yep. but we'll see. Hey, and knowing this 49er tenure under Shanahan, you can make the case that in all nine playoff games he's coached, he's had the inferior quarterback in all nine playoff games. You can make that argument. Yep. Kirk yep. Cousins, Dak, Aaron Rodgers, Pat Mahomes. Mahomes, of course, in the Super Bowl. Even Geno Smith, Brock Purdy, Geno Smith. I mean, Purdy was playing a lot better than Gino was at the time. Gino had a great year. Gino had a great, very good year. So, yeah, yeah I mean, again, I, I think the feeling in the organization from when he, I, t- I saw executives after the Seattle game on the road, yeah. Purdy's first road game with a rib injury, right. they were like, "That's the guy. Wow. We got the guy." Like they weren't saying, "Oh my God, we found the guy." They're saying, "That's the guy," and they believe he's the guy. We're